good morning students today uh, we would discuss the anatomy of the soft palate so the soft palate is a muscular fold it is uh, made up of various muscles and it is uh, movable it is suspended from the posterior border of the hard palate that is it is suspended into the oral cavity from the posterior border of the hard palate and it separates the nasopharynx from the oropharynx so in this uh, picture you can see this is the hard palate so from the posterior border of the hard palate there is a muscular fold that hangs down and this is the soft palate and this soft palate basically it separates the nasopharynx and the oropharynx so it separates both these parts of the pharynx this figure also depicts the same thing this is the hard palate posterior border the border of the hard palate continues or it um, the the soft palate is attached to the posterior border of the hard palate which is a muscular fold and um, it separates the nasopharynx and the oropharynx in this you can see this is the soft palate so soft palate has two surfaces anterior surface is concave and anterior surface wo surface hai jo oral cavity ke side face kar raha hai that is the anterior surface so that is concave and it presents a median rough a in between the posterior surface agar anterior surface concave hai to posterior surface automatically convex hai and it is continuous superiorly with the floor of the nasal cavity so it is continuous with the floor of the nasal cavity superiorly this is the uh, concave surface and it faces towards the oral cavity the concave surface faces the oral cavity and it presents with a median rough a you can see in this figure two surfaces are soft palate ke uh, two borders are superior border and inferior border the superior border gives attachment to the posterior border of the hard palate blending on each side with the pharynx so ये जो बॉर्डर होगा टूवर्ड्स दी साइड ऑफ हार्ड पैलेट दैट वुड बी द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ द सॉफ्ट पैलेट एंड पोस्टीरियर बॉर्डर हार्ड पैलेट एंड ऑन ईच साइड इट विल ब्लेंड विद द फैरिंग्स इंफीरियर बॉर्डर इज फ्री एंड इट बाउंड द फेरेंजल इस्थमस दिस वुड बी द इंफीरियर बॉर्डर द फ्री बॉर्डर बाउंडिंग द oropharyngeal isthmus now uh, soft palate ki hum baat karte hain to ek aur structure hai uvula which is uh, uvula in latin it means a small grape like to iski appearance waisi hi hoti hai and it hangs from the inferior border of the soft palate that is the middle portion of the inferior border can be seen in the figure this is uvula and it hangs from the middle portion of the inferior border of the soft palate it is a conical projection or it appears to be like a small grape from each side of the base of uvula two curved folds of mucous membrane extend laterally and downwards that also you can see in the figure from the uvula you have two folds of mucous membrane descending laterally this is the lateral these two are the lateral folds descending laterally and downwards any folds ko hum previous videos mein discuss kar chuke hain the palatoglossal and the palatopharyngeal arches so oh, in this figure the highlighted with green is the uvula which is a conical projection hanging from the middle part the inferior border of the soft palate so uvula uh, on both sides 
it extends it descends downwards so do fold of mucous membrane ye banata hai one is the anterior fold which is also known as palatoglossal arch or it is also known as the anterior pillar of fossas and the posterior fold is known as palatopharyngeal arch or the posterior pillar of fossas so ye uvula and ye jo palatoglossal arch hogi it would contain the palatoglossal muscle and jo palatopharyngeal arch hogi it would contain the palatopharyngeus muscle and these are uh, muscles of the soft palate so the anterior fold which will also form the lateral boundary of the oropharyngeal isthmus posterior fold forms the posterior boundary of the tonsillar fossa you can see here in this figure this is uvula two mucus folds descend laterally and downwards the anterior fold would be known as the palatoglossal arch or it's also known as anterior pillar of fossas and similarly there is a posterior fold which is also known as palatopharyngeal arch or it is also known as posterior pillar of the fossas so and this palatoglossal will contain the palatoglossal muscle and palatopharyngeal arch will contain the palatopharyngeal muscle this is also forming lateral boundary of the oropharyngeal isthmus that's the oropharyngeal isthmus and it, this is forming the posterior uh, the lateral boundaries and the palatopharyngeal is forming posterior boundary of this tonsillar fossa in this figure again uvula the two folds this is the palatopharyngeal which is forming posterior boundary of this tonsillar fossa this is oropharyngeal isthmus the lateral boundaries are formed by the palatoglossal arch nerve supply of the soft palate general sensory uh, nerves basically uh, the motor nerves we will be discussing them when we'll uh, study about the muscles of the soft palate and uh, motor supply is basically by the pharyngeal plexus Uh, except for one muscle uh the general sensory nerve is the maxillary nerve and maxillary nerve gives the middle and posterior lesser palatine branches which are the nerves of general sensation and also the glossopharyngeal nerve lesser palatine nerve is also the special sensory nerve and it is also the secreto motor nerve arterial supply is by the maxillary artery the branch is greater palatine by the facial artery the branch is ascending palatine and ascending pharyngeal artery also gives palatine branches veins drain into the pterygoid plexus and the tonsillar plexus lymphatic drainage is into the upper deep cervical lymph nodes and the retropharyngeal lymph nodes very important uh, and very uh, it is uh, commonly seen as a congenital defect in uh, uh, children and it is a cleft palate cause hai cleft palate ka when uh, there are two palatal processes right side and the left side and when they do not fuse they fail to fuse then they lead to this condition which is known as cleft palate and it varies in degree it could be simple only uh, confined to palate so it is known as cleft palate it may also involve the lip and it is known as cleft lip and palate so these are the palatal processes or the palatine processes of the maxilla bone right side left side if they do not fuse together if they do not fuse together then this condition occurs which is known as cleft palate so in this figure you can see this is a normal uh, palate normal condition in this you can see here this is unilateral and bilateral cleft lip and palate now in uh, in least severe cases jahan pe conditions uh, kam severe hai 
वहाँ ये जो क्लेफ्ट है वो कन्फाइंड रह जाता है ओनली टू द सॉफ्ट पैलेट लेकिन अगर कंडीशंस बहुत ज़्यादा सिवियर हैं तो ये इन्वॉल्व कर लेता है लिप को सो इट देन इट इज़ नोन एज क्लेफ्ट लिप एंड पैलेट सो इन लीज सीवियर केसेज इट इज़ कन्फाइंड टू द सॉफ्ट पैलेट एंड इन मोस्ट सीवियर केसेज द क्लेफ्ट इन पैलेट इज कंटिन्यूस विद द हेयर लिप और द क्लेफ्ट लिप सो इट इज क्लेफ्ट लिप एंड क्लेफ्ट पैलेट One more condition uh, with the soft palate is the paralysis of the soft palate. Now, why it happens? It happens because of lesion of the vagus nerve, and the symptoms would be nasal regurgitation of the liquids. So, जो liquid drink करेंगे mouth से वो uh, nose से बाहर आ जाएगा. so nasal regurgitation is one symptom nasal twang in the voice basically voice mein nasal tone uh, sunai degi palatal jo arches hain dono palatoglossal and palatopharyngeal wo uh, arched nahi ho ke wo flat ho jayenge so flattening of the palatal arch and uvula jo hai wo deviate karega to the normal side so ye dekhne ko milega agar soft palate mein paralysis ho gaya hai so that's all about uh, anatomy of the soft palate thank you so much